All right. And then there were six. It's getting thin now. So uh, the challenges are gonna get tougher and you're gonna have to push yourselves a little more. So let's get started here. Today's challenge is composition. The rules, think outside the box. Challenge yourself. Think about leading lines. You can use any light you want, but don't ignore the details. Shadows, highlights, expressions, all matter. The judges are gonna be paying attention to this now. You will again have up to 10 minutes to set up and create your image. As you know, today's challenge, one of you will go home. For equipment today, we have cameras and lenses from Canon, and we have lighting supplies from Westcott. You've got access to the FJ80, FJ200, and FJ400 lighting system, along with a plethora of lighting accessories. Once your 10 minutes is up, you must hand over your memory card and return to the waiting room where you will not be able to view or edit your images until everyone has completed the challenge. But before we get started, each of you will select a card to determine the order you're going to shoot in. Good luck. I'm thinking about putting a um, spotlight up on the background and kind of uh, positioning her in the middle of that and then just work on the, the posing would be, um, again, just to get that old Hollywood glamour feel to it. Hollywood in my head and so I wanted that back lot to kind of just come in behind her and and work compositionally to really highlight her. Um, I used a smaller reflector so there is a lot of fall off which I, I'm okay with. I don't necessarily love feet. Um, so I really just kind of again wanted that gorgeous old Hollywood and she really She's got the look, she gave me the feel. Um, so we'll, we'll see, I'm excited. Hola. I, I wanna go kind of old Hollywood with it, um, but kind of a newer, punchier colors. Um, I'm gonna set up some gels in the background and you know, see what we get. all right I'm not as confident as I was last time but I think I got like a good basis I want to get it in Photoshop and see what I got all right who's number three uh, the name 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 hey I'm just talking to you not about it oh, all right let's do it I have a diaper on uh, what I plan on doing uh, it's a composition challenge so obviously the leading lines roll thirds little, uh, you know, all that kind of fun stuff, triangles, and uh, let's see how it goes. How's the light? It's a simple idea composition, but just everybody's getting um, 
a lot better. The competition's getting smaller, and so I've got to bring your A game. So we'll find out soon. I like the first shot we did where we're using the doorway as to kind of frame her and the lights coming from above. That one's good. I kind of like the airplane shot I did too. So let's see how it looks in post. Hey, so my plan here is to try to fit in a couple of different shots. Uh, I want to do something here with uh, from above. I'm going to shoot something high. Uh, and I think we're going to move and do one other shot uh, on the back of the location and see if we can fit that in. And, um, Make it work. Yeah, so I was really happy with um, the first shot we did. I felt like uh, it was exactly what I was originally going for. I wanted to try and fit some other stuff in. Uh, now, like, like usual, it's time to get to work and make that edit happen, and I'm gonna be uh, creating something really cool with that. So. All right, all right. Come to town. What I'm envisioning for this shot today is I'm gonna go straight down the hall, two doors, halfway closed, butterfly light, and just knock out of the park. I'm so excited for this one. Uh, let's see. Stabilizer's off. That's not good. Okay, so I feel like me and Haley G just knocked this one out of the park. We started in the hallway, got some really, really cool shots, I feel. Mm -hmm. and, and then in, in all Ning fashion, we hit up the bathroom for the last shot. Of course. Bethany, let's, right, go. let's go. How many FJ 200s do we have? I have a plan. It's kind of risky, but I feel like it's the time in the competition to take risks. So. We're gonna go with a really interesting composition that I thought of. Um, I'm hoping the lighting works out. It's gonna be really difficult lighting, um, as well as composition or composition on top of that. So I'm really hoping this pays off. Yeah. I need it up and high and pointing through the windshield almost. I'm not specific on a direction. Here. That was a hard concept and I knew that I had a very 50-50 shot of panicking when the lighting didn't work out exactly how I wanted and just having to go by the seat of my pants. But in this case, Haley was incredible. The lighting was incredible. My assistant, really. You know, I mean, can we talk about that? Assistants are underrated and really we bring the whole shoot together. Yeah. And uh, you know, I appreciate your appreciation yeah. for me. You know, it's a mutual appreciation. Yeah, so I feel really good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how are we feeling? Good. Good? Yeah. All right. Well, this is a tough challenge for you guys, and uh, you guys definitely had to put a lot more thought and effort into it. So remember what how it goes. You've got 30 minutes to cull and edit your images. The challenge today was composition. So select your images, be smart about what you're selecting, and be smart about how you're editing it. Every detail matters. The journey begins. <laughs> Today was, uh, in a word, interesting. One of the things that really irks me is that these guys are not checking the back of their camera. 
Look, back in the days of film, you had to get your exposure perfect and you didn't know what you had in the can, so to speak, until you got that film developed. Well, now we've got this incredible opportunity to check the back of the camera. And so many of the competitors just kept shooting without checking the back of their camera. So they had no idea if exposure was uh, correct or not, whether lighting patterns were correct or not. So it's just one of those things that gives me uh, anxiety. So we'll see how they did. Something else that, again, just mind boggling is how they got stuck in a shot, right? So as a creative, uh, you start panicking. You got 10 minutes, you think it's, it's not enough time. And so they get locked into a shot and they stayed with that shot. And there were probably eight other shots around them. And it was really interesting to watch their inability to get up, move, and move to another shot. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what they got today, and it's gonna be really interesting to see if they got what they were hoping to get out of it. So we'll see. Time. All right, my ladies, here we are. Challenge number three. The challenge was composition. Uh, so it was pretty much open to interpretation. Hopefully they've made it clear on, uh, on what the composition is. I will be honest with you, I was watching them work. I was like, do they know the challenge is composition? Because I felt like maybe it wasn't clicking for them. Mm, stunning. Yes. Is there any that like are jumping out at you? No, those, the la the, this one and that one. That one's beautiful. Uh, yeah. I'm I a, don't like this one. Her arms drive me crazy. It's fun looking at composition, that straight arm. Well, it's, let's get yeah. let's get to our... Three? Like top three. Yeah. Maybe. What's your... I, do we all agree on yes. this? Is, yeah. not, is a top yes. one? Yeah. Okay. Do we... And then I like this one from a composition mm -hmm. perspective. True, yeah. One, two, and was there another one you felt or you felt? I know you okay. felt this one. These two? These two. Okay. I'm gravitating towards these two. This one feels really strong to me, mm -hmm. all the way around. Like, yes, the challenge was composition, yeah. but we can't lose sight of everything else that matters. Mm -hmm. uh, so and let's. This is good composition, right? I mean, yeah, it's oh, good yeah, composition. Absolutely. I mean, it's a frame within a frame. Frame within yeah. a frame. Lighting's rule good. Thirds. Rule of thirds. I mean, they they really did and it. Creativity. Very creativity. creative. Yes. Very very creative. Yeah. So this one, um, it's Her a neck it, is killing me. Like, yeah. I love this, right? This. Yeah, but and I'm being hypercritical here because the challenge is composition. This is not. Portrait. This is just a general portrait. And right. then when it came to details, the neck uh, and the feet being cut off right at the ankle, that that's a struggle for me. And I'm still struggling on composition for this particular one. Yeah. That right. that's just me. I don't know if I you guys agree. agree. On that. Yep. Now we start coming back to this group of three. Let's start on the left one. Loretta, kind of what are your thoughts there? I know you like this image a lot. I do. It's a play of light. She's smiling. It's just a whole vibe for me. Um, it doesn't really kind of, it does a composition, but it's not as strong as the other two. Right. right. Nice. From a composition From perspective. From a perspective, but it is a, a great <clears throat> picture, so. And as we get into critique on this, I definitely don't think this is our worst image. No, it's not. Um, but as we get into to, to critique on this, mm -hmm. really, my eye cannot stop staring right here. I love negative space. I do you too. do too. Oh my okay. Gosh, yes. The only thing I don't like about that photo is the total straight arm. Like, just give me a little bend, I would have been happy. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The rest yeah. of it, I love. Yeah, I'm str I'm back to struggling, and we'll we'll we'll. <laughs> well, you and I are very negative space people at the field yes. because we know that when it's an ad, that's where the that's time. where that's they're where the copy go. goes. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, but I still get stuck because all the lines are driving me to here. It's encompassing it. She should be here. I'm not thinking that's from true. an advertising where and a copy is. Arm going that way. And, right, perfect. and then and then the branch is cutting through her head. Like so, that's kind of where I'm getting stuck. Mm -hmm. I don't disagree with you copy goes there and then maybe it's a moot point but the challenge was composition, composition. And that's so we agree right not the not the leading image right and then there were two then there are two hmm. I don't think we have to say much here I think we just do no. we have a do we have a vote Where, yeah. where's your where's your pick the right <laughs> so too, yeah right it's, just, it's stunning I mean in yeah. addition to composition look at her use of light the it's yeah. telling that's a amazing. story it's agreed I feel like the this image is on the left is is really strong compositionally right I um, right i mean it is driving you right to the subject but you you level the playing field now both are great compositionally however the maker of this particular image 
has taken everything they've been learning in the challenges and I feel like really brought it to fruition. Yeah, I think this is the one that actually is more creative than yeah. the challenges. Totally agree. All right, so well, we feel like we got a winner. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Let's send it to print. Woohoo! Creators, today was an interesting day to say the least. Every one of you worked hard to stand out. However, one of you will be going home today. Our judges today are fellow Canon Explorers of Light, Vanessa Joy and Loretta Houston. Vanessa is a wedding and portrait photographer based in Austin, Texas, and Loretta is a fashion, editorial, and commercial photographer based in LA. When your image is shown, please step forward so we can critique your results from today. Guys, I'm gonna give you some feedback before we start looking at it. The bar is gonna be set higher and higher each day as the pressure is put on you guys. And today, I really did watch what felt like for me as an outsider, internal panic. Uh, as you were working. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe, uh, maybe we'll see what the images look like and what they yield, uh, but you got stuck in a shot. Almost every single one of you got stuck in a shot and seemed like you were unable to move past it and move forward. And I think as photographers, as creatives, we have to be careful of that tunnel vision when we're making great images, all right? So just take that feedback uh, and let's make sure we're improving as creatives, okay? First image up, Lisa Jones. All right, Vanessa, you want to start on this one? We all agreed that we were going to start being a little bit more tough on all of these critiques because it's, like Sal said, just going to get more challenging. Uh, so we want to help you do your best. This image, this first second I saw it, it grabbed me, but there were some posing problems. I loved her arm, but her shoulder is way up and her neck looks really stiff. Something that could have been fixed by just giving her that light tap to go down and bringing her head back so her muscles weren't creating that tension. I'm gonna be a little tougher on this image. Honestly, Lisa, I felt like this was one of the weakest images uh, out there today. My thought was this is supposed to be about composition and I, that composition was lost on me. And then as I started looking closer and closer at the image, it's a beautiful portrait. Uh, some of the issues that Vanessa has raised, I think are valid, uh, but then we just cropped off at her ankles. Uh, and so cutting off that joint, that just to me drove me bonkers, either crop in and make it tighter and commit to it being a portrait or give us the feet, you know? So I was kind of stuck there. Loretta? Some of the rules that we have as a campaign photographer is never cut it off at the joints. So, you know, you need to really pay attention to how you crop your images. Lisa, congratulations. Your journey continues. Next up, Jess. Loretta, you want to start with this one? This was one, of, you actually loved this image. I did. <laughs> um, it's just the use of the gels or colors that you used on this image. It's just, I, I feel her happiness in this. You know what I'm saying? I do like the negative space on the right of the picture. You know, they disagreed, but hey, I, lo I love it. Not they, him. Oh, him, <laughs> okay, him. For me, this to me is, again, a compositional issue. Great use of mixing gels, uh, but again, compositionally, I felt like this really did fall short. That was the challenge you were being tasked with, and I cannot stop staring at that blank spot on the right, and I've got a, tree, a branch, right, a plant branch, cutting through the top of her head. So again, if we are looking at this through the eyes of composition, I truly feel like we could have had this incredible shot if we just shifted her over right, maybe gotten her down lower and put her and enveloped her in the, the tree branches. You know what I'm saying with that? And so that's where I got kind of stuck on this image. Or in post, taking out that tree branch entirely because then that really does change the composition of it all. But for me, it was the pose. That one arm straight, uh, that's all I saw was a straight arm. And this is a happy pose. This is fun and carefree and that showed me tension. But Jess, congratulations. Your journey continues. Next up. Brody. All right, Brody, this was a really tough image for me. Uh, lighting, you did a really good job on lighting, but that was not the challenge. 
Uh, the challenge was composition. And this, this is like schizophrenia of, of composition, right? What was the composition? Did she fall from the ceiling? Did she break a leg? Uh, so I didn't quite know what the message was you were going for here. Um, but the thing that saved you here is very, very good lighting uh, on her. It's very nice beauty, soft lighting, nice and controlled. The spill was controlled. So that's the plus of the image. Loretta? This is one of my least favorites from this challenge. It's because the posing, it just wasn't flattering whatsoever. And so that was main part of why I didn't really choose this image. Um, so I'm sorry. The thing that saved this image from the cho chopping block was the unique angle. So definitely keep that with you as you go into this next challenge. Keep the uniqueness, fine tune the rest. Brody, congratulations. Your journey continues. All right, next image. Leroy, step forward. You want to start on this? I do, although I think you should because this is one of your favorites. This was a favorite image of mine, Leroy. I will be honest with you. I felt like you did a really good job of embracing composition, right? So we had this incredible run. You were actually one of the only creators to use a 7200 lens uh, to introduce some compression. So for me, there was a little bit of bonus points uh, with that. And you used the entire run of the hallway, which I thought was very creative. And then of course, we've got these beautiful uh, lighting set up on her, uh, and then the doors framing her perfectly. So I really did enjoy this image. I think you stepped it up, this challenge. I enjoyed the image. It's just one of those images that it catches my eye, especially with the green in the background and the closed doors a bit. So yes, I love this image. The one weird thing for me about this image was her front foot. I would love for that front foot to have been either like on her tiptoe to the back or pointed towards the camera. It was just in a slightly awkward position for me, but the rest of her body looked fantastic, so. And I think just to add to that, this is one of those things that quite frankly, this goes for all the creators, it's the attention to detail. You guys are getting to a point in this competition where the details matter. And we can't just get so caught up in the scene, so caught up in the light that we forget we are photographing a person and their body lines matter, the wardrobe matters, the hair matters. We gotta start paying attention to those details. But, Leroy, congratulations. Your journey continues. All right, two of you step forward. I'm gonna start with this image. Bethany, I was there with you. I watched you suffer, literally, writer's block right on this particular image. You got so stuck on nailing this shot that you might be missing other opportunities. And I think everybody has to learn from that, that there's more than one shot on any given scene. Um, so I really like the story in this image. Uh, there's some, I'm gonna assume editing issues. I always hate saying or assuming what's been done to an image, but I was there in the top part of this image coming off the hood line of the car, it's completely black. I don't believe that that's what it looked like in camera. Uh, and so obviously we're doing things to edit, but it looks, it's a distraction because there's so much red. There's just no red in that black. How could there be all that red in the image and then there's no red over there, right? So it becomes unrealistic uh, to believe that part of the image. Vanessa? And then when it comes to post too, there is like a red dot on her nose that I just wanted to do this to the monitor, <laughs> like just, just wipe it off real quick. And something like that is just so super distracting. In addition to the backlight being slightly strong because it's, it's poking that highlight behind her and dragging my eye that way. And as a photographer, this is funny because I shoot those type of pictures really well. Um, I, for me, I would have used the 2470 on this one to get the detail of the car. And I actually would have her like maybe put lipstick on. Like get creative with it. You know, it's just not her in the mirror. What is she doing in the mirror? You know, is she, is she driving? Is she doing lipstick? I think it gives that extra little push into this picture. All right, next image. Loretta, you want to start on this one? Um, so the block kills me. The brown block that's right next to her. 
that's my eye just completely went to that. It didn't go straight into the model. So it just kind of distracted me from this picture. Ning, I, I love what you were do, trying to do in this picture. I see it, I see the leading lines, I see the perspective in the hallway. I love what you were trying to do. I just don't think you were able to execute it on it the best of your abilities. One of the things that really jumped out at me uh, was the fact that we've now made her look heavier. Uh, her stomach is sticking out. Uh, her arm is uh, flush against that wall, making it look heavier than she is. We've taken this fit teenager and we've made her look a little heavy. So I don't think we did her uh, the best job we could have done as creatives. And finally, the leading lines in the composition that I see you were going for was not complemented by the lighting that you chose. Instead, the lighting became distracting. If you had chosen to take the light and maybe put it further behind her, short light her, create shadow on that wall instead maybe of even lighting a snoot, it up. A snoot, snoot on that yeah, wall, right? Yeah. That, could have, that could have changed right. the mood of that image. Exactly, you know? yeah, lighting, lighting is everything. All right, so unfortunately, there can only be one of you that the journey continues forward on. Uh, in front of me, I'm holding the final printed image from today's challenge winner. Congratulations, Bethany. <laughs> Bethany, you did an incredible job today. Uh, you did get stuck, but in the end, you created an incredible image, which you've got to learn from that because if you had not gotten this shot, you were going home today. Yeah. Uh, and you, you got it and you did a great job. Ning, you're an incredible photographer. I've enjoyed watching you work. I've enjoyed watching you push boundaries and experiment. And at the end of the day, that's what being a creative is all about. So while your journey doesn't continue today, okay, good luck in the future. Thank you for being part of this. Congratulations. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm excited because I got to be part of this thing. Um, but the competition got super competitive in a great way. We're all friends. Um, and it's a wonderful experience. I can't imagine being part of anything better. Honestly, no, thank you for letting me be here. Appreciate it.